I've been to Mobile, Alabama and Dauphin Island and those places and they are some of the most exquisitely beautiful wetlands in the world and um, the Gulf Coast has something like a third of the surviving wetlands of the United States and we're looking at a situation where the majority of those wetlands may be killed and the time frame for their recovery will be measured in decades. The surface part of this spill is, um, I think, going to play out in a way very similarly to a much, much smaller spill that occurred in Panama. It was a little over two million gallons. It, it happened because a storage tank ruptured and um, it wasn't hard to see where it had been because fairly soon all the mangrove trees that had been oiled died and so if you flew in an airplane and you looked down you saw this gray black zone of dead mangroves and dead reef flat where the oil had been in contrast to the bright green healthy mangrove way um, to the shore or along the coast and um, what we learned in a nutshell was never, ever, ever, ever allow oil to get into a complex coastal system of mangroves and seagrasses and coral reefs because you'll never get it out. The thing about oil spills is that they're really disgusting and ugly, but they really are way down the list of the greatest threats in the ocean, which are, in my opinion, principally overfishing, pollution of other forms, and, and climate change. There's this collision course of um, overuse of resources and um, hyperpollution and, and what have you that are just um, joining together um, to, uh, to magnify problems. If there's any um, silver lining in the oil spill, it's that it might make us wake up to the magnitude of what we're dealing with. The, um, as I said before, the oil spill is really a relatively minor problem, as horrifically dirty and disgusting as it is, as horrible as the death of all those seabirds and turtles and dolphins is, and, and it's really, really bad. But when it's gone, um, the overfishing and the other forms of pollution and climate change will still be there and still getting worse every day, as they have been continuously. And so, I think we have to hope that, the, that there will be an increased awareness of the fragility of the ocean that will emerge from the horror that people have experienced about what we can see so that there's um, a, a, a new seriousness about the magnitude of the other problems. <laughs>